My name is Will Davis. I live in New York City. I'm originally from West Africa, Liberia, and I'm the founder of Dapper Tours. What we do is we do off the beaten path tours of New York City on these dope vintage sidecar motorcycles, showing people the best of New York City off the beaten path. Hey, bro. Good, how you doing? Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> sitting in the sidecar and sitting on the back of that motorcycle and taking in the scene that you're seeing behind you. That's what we do. That's Dapper Tours. What we do is special. It's magic. When you see the reaction of people when they're sitting in the sidecar, when they first sit, uh, step foot into the sidecar, immediately it's just they melt. They start smiling. They're happy. Uh, when you see the reaction of people on the street, when they see people in the sidecar, they melt, they're happy. This thing breaks so many uh, barriers of uh, relationships with people that it induces happiness in people. And that is what we do that's so special. The other thing that we do is we're kind of obsessed about the customer experience. So we put a lot of effort into making sure that that customer, that guest has the best experience possible seeing off the beaten path do a walking tour, you can do a double-decker bus tour, you can do a bicycle tour, all those are great, but no way besides this type of vehicle provides a person to be able to use all five of their senses to experience a city in a way that just kind of brings so much excitement and so much joy for them. And when I say it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, it really is. Once you see these vehicles, immediately, whether you're young, whether you're old, it induces this nostalgia inside of you. You feel like you want to be a kid again. You feel like you want to actually just jump in there and let somebody just ferry you around the city and see everything. Typically don't even advertise on the streets when we are standing in the streets with the bikes. This is our advertisement. Standing by the bikes like this and immediately people just get drawn in. Dapper Tours is special because when you do a tour of Dapper Tours, you become the star of your own trip, essentially. Just imagine a person sitting in this sidecar, sitting on the back of this uh, motorcycle and driving around New York City or any city for that matter. What happens? The attention that they're getting, it's amazing and immediately it makes them feel this sense of joy, this sense of excitement. That's part of what makes it special. Uh, the other part is our attention to customer obsession, the detail that we try to put into their experience. We do off the beaten path tours. So we're not doing the typical, let's look at the Empire State Building. We're taking them to where real New York is happening, to interact with real New Yorkers, which is what we feel people really want to experience anyways. And the last thing is, we are called Dapper Tours for a reason. I'm a big believer that when you look good, uh, you feel good about yourself, and then you treat other people good too as well. And when you look good, people like to be around things that look good as well, too. The bikes look good, we try to look good. It's a pretty good combination. <laughs> so the way I came up with this concept, uh, it's going to sound really cliche, uh, which is part of what makes it perfect. About four years ago, I was on a street uh, of all names called Love Lane in Brooklyn Heights, in Brooklyn. And I was shooting photography uh, on Christmas Day, and I saw one of these bikes on the street, and I fell in love with the bikes and I travel a lot. So I decided one day, I, it kind of hit me, why not take my love of traveling, my love of people, my love of motorcycles, put all three of them together and bring the people to me here in New York City. That was my inspiration. Dapper Tours, to me, it means everything. It's not very often in life that you get an opportunity to do something that you're passionate about, something that you love. I'm able to take all my loves and put them all together and make a living doing it, right? Like, I'm taking my love of motorcycles, taking my love of people, I'm taking my love of culture, everything put together, and this is what I get to do every single day. Um, the other part that makes it so special to me is, um, I feel like, in life, the thing that we can do the most, the thing that we can actually get the most joy out of, is being of service to other people. So, when I see the smiles on the faces of our guests, that, every single day, it's an addiction, and it's something that I never want to stop uh, doing. 
So something, something interesting about me is uh, I'm one of the few people in, in the world probably that's allergic to chicken. Uh, if I eat chicken, I get sick, but it's a mental allergy. Back in Africa, what happened is uh, apparently I was really young and uh, we were living on a farm and I got attacked by a chicken and I went into a fetal position. So ever since then, I've not been able to eat chicken. I get physically sick if I eat it. It's okay, you're allowed to laugh, go ahead. <laughs>